With the kickoff to college football season comes some good news for sellers of duck gear. The University of Oregon now backing down from a plan to limit its apparel licensing. This all comes after Coin6 reports help put pressure on the university. Cor Harlan live at the duck store in downtown Portland where they sell a lot of gear. What's this all about, Cor? Well, it's a complicated story, Jeff. You'll recall it was back in May that the University of Oregon essentially told about 100 or so mom and pop small business apparel makers in the state of Oregon that their days doing business with the university, making apparel, were numbered. Well, as you mentioned, the university changed its mind on that topic today, and that is a lot of good news for people who depend on that University of Oregon business. When the University of Oregon announced it was essentially ending its licensing agreements with dozens of small Oregon apparel makers in late May, yep. people like Rick Lieberson of T-Line Design and Canby couldn't believe it. The first thing that went through my mind was, wow, there goes 10% of our business. Wow, there goes two or three employees I'm going to have to let go. Rick was not alone. More than 100 other small t-shirt like shops and apparel makers in Oregon faced the same thing. An agreement that had helped employ Oregonians and generate lots of of royalty money for the U of O in the process was not enough. So this is something that I think we need to reconsider. It looked fairly bleak until State Representative Bill Kenimer of Oregon City showed other lawmakers the Coin 6 news story that aired in late May in an effort to stop the U of O proposal, and it worked. The school's Department of Marketing and Brand Management now says it's abandoning efforts to change the licensing arrangements. It's really a great relief. We're really, really really excited that the University of Oregon took a very, very deep look into this and decided to keep the business here in Oregon. I think it's the Oregonian thing to do, and I like it when they put community above revenue and realize that we all do better when we work together. For Rick Lieberson and others, it means the U of O apparel business and the one-of-a-kind fighting duck tie-dye t-shirt made in Canby is business that will stay in Oregon. Yeah. Now, in a statement today, the University of Oregon didn't totally close out the idea of changing this contract in the future. Statement says if there are opportunities to make improvements in the future, we will consider them in relation to the long-term benefits to the university. So the final chapter in this story ultimately may not have been written yet. Live in downtown Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Cor, thank you.